Welcome to an introduction on MusaScore 2. If you have not downloaded the program yet, there will be a link in the description. Go download that, install it, and open it up, and that's where we'll start off with a tutorial. See you then. The first screen you're going to see when MusaScore 2 opens up is the create a new score. So first of all we're going to insert a title. We're going to call this one first song and then next we're going to insert a composer. We'll say uh, Joe Smith. So then we want to go and click the next button. This is shows a bunch of different templates that are made already. So there's a lot of different templates depending on what your use is if you're doing it for a band or solo and so forth. For the simplicity we're going to use the treble cuff. This is where we get to choose our key signature. If you put your cursor over each one you'll notice that it shows you the scale associated with that key signature and we are going to choose C major. This is where you can adjust the tempo. We're going to leave it at 100 beats per minute. And then the enter your time signature. So here we're going to stay with 4-4 but you could change it to whatever you like. And then there's pickup measure and number of measures. So we're going to change this for this example so it's smaller. We're going to change it to 8 measures long for this composition. And then we're going to hit finish. Now we're going to learn how to add measures. So first we're going to select the last measure. And then we're going to go up into the add tab, measures, insert measures, and we're going to add eight more measures. Now it's important to remember that when you're adding measures, they are added on to after where you selected. So this, in this case, it added on to the end. So now that we have our 16 measures, we're going to make it so there's only four on each line. So we're going to count out four, and then after the fourth measure, we're going to select the bar line. As you see, it goes blue. Then you're going to hit the Enter key to make a new line. Now we're going to repeat this again. One, two, three, four, select the bar line, hit enter. And one more time, one, two, three, four, bar line, and enter. Now we have our composition in all four lines. Now suppose we didn't want that last line. Then to remove it, we're going to select the first measure in that line, and then we're going to go over to the last measure. We're going to hold shift, and then click that last measure. It'll select everything in between. Now we'll go up to Edit, Measure, Delete Selected Measures. And then that's it. It's gone. And that's how we can add and delete measures. Now we're going to learn how to add notes. So first we need to click the Note tool and then select whatever notes we want to use. So in this case we're going to use quarter note and we're going to put it down at a C and then we're going to select the half note tool and move it to an E and then now we're going to select the eighth note we'll put it at E and then click the next one at G move to back to the quarter note place it at F and then place another E and then switch to the half note place it at a C another half note, we're going to put a G, quarter note, at a B, another quarter note at D, quarter note at E, quarter note at B, and last we're going to switch to a half note and put it at a G. That was one way you can add notes using buttons. So there's another way that you can input notes. It would be using your keyboard. It's usually a much faster way to input the notes. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, to help with a bit of visual, I'm going to bring up an on-screen keyboard so you can see what I am pressing. Before we get started, I want you to look at this. So if we go over and hover above our notes, we see it says 64th note, and it has a 1 beside it. And if we hover over this one, the 32nd note, 
it has a 2 over it. So those numbers 1 and 2 correspond to the numbers on your keyboard. So by pressing a 1 or a 2, you are selecting that note. So it continues down. So we got here we'll have a 3 for the 16th. The 8th note is 4. Quarter note is 5. Half note is 6. And we'll continue going on 7, 8, and 9. So that would be how you select your note. And then in order to input the actual notes, you'll just click on the corresponding letter. So if we want to put in uh, a quarter note at a B, we would click 5, and then we'll hit B. So if we want to start our composition right here, then we would start by selecting that measure, so it knows that that's where we want to start. So then we'll hit the number 5 to select quarter note, and then we're going to hit the B key. And there we go. So there's a B. So if we continue this, so we can put now another a G. And then if we wanted to switch to a half note, we can press 6 and then put a half note in at C. And then we can switch to an eighth note by pressing the 4 key. And then we can make it say at F and F. And let's, let's go back to a quarter note by pressing 5. We'll make that a C. And then we'll switch to a half note, press 6. And then we'll press that as an E. Then we'll go back to a quarter, pressing number 5. And then we'll make it a D. And then we'll go to another quarter, we'll put it a G. And suppose that we wanted that an octave lower, then what you would do is just after you put the note in, you would hold the command key, or control if you're on Windows, and press the down arrow, and that moves it down an octave. So now we can add in uh, an eighth note here by pressing 4, and let's make that B, D, and then we can go back to a quarter note by pressing 5, G, and we want that, if we want that octave lower, hit that command key and press and hold command and press the down arrow. And then we can add in a C, and maybe we we'll want to lower that one again another octave, so we'll hold the command key and press that down. And let's put an eighth note, press number 4. And we'll put that at a G, and let's go back and up an octave. Now we can add another G in, and then let's put a C. We'll make it a half note, so let's press 6, and we'll add a C, and let's bring that down an octave. There we go. So that's how you can add notes using the keys on your computer. I'm just going to remove the on-screen keyboard, and... Now let's play back our song. So to play back our song, we're going to select the first part of the song we want to play. Hold Shift, click the last part, so it selects everything in between. Then we're going to go and hit the loop playback, so that way it will just keep looping over again. Hit the play button, and you'll be able to hear what you've composed. And then after it plays through the whole thing, this with the loop on, it will just kind of keep going in a circle. Now that you've heard it, you realize it's piano playing. What if you want a different instrument to play? So we can go to Edit, then we can go to Instruments, and then this window will pop up, and there will be a bunch of different drop-down menus. So we're going to go into Woodwinds, and we're going to select the flute. Then we click Add, and then OK. Now you can see there's now a flute part has been added. So now if we want to take everything that we've already composed for the piano and add it to the flute, then we can select the, f the start and then go over our last measure, hold shift and click it. That will select everything in between. Then we'll go command C, which is copy, and then we'll select on the flute part and command V at the very beginning. And as you see now, we've copied our whole piece onto the flute. Now suppose we didn't want the piano in there anymore, we can go up to File, or Edit, Instruments, and then we can, I, we can click the piano, and then click Remove. Or you can just go 
and click the unvisible part. So we'll just do that for now, and there you go, the piano has disappeared. So next up, let's finish the last bar of our composition. So let's take the first two measures of the first line, and so we're going to use Command C to copy those two, and then we're going to put that right at the first uh, measure of the third line, and we're going to hit Command V for paste. Now we're going to take the last two of the second line, and we're using Command Copy again, so Command C, and then we're going to paste them here with Command V. Now that we got it pasted in, we're going to add some dynamics to our piece. So if we go up to the lines and the drop down menu there, we can add some dynamics. So if we drag it out, and you want to drag it right onto the note head, and then release. So let's add a couple more. So we'll drag it from there, we'll drag it and drop right on the note head, and Let's use one for decreasing the volume, so we're going to drag and drop it on the note head, and there we go. So we can also go into the Dynamics drop-down menu, and so we can add some more. Again, we want to make sure when we're doing this that we are dragging and dropping them right on the note head. So make sure you go right over the note head, or else it can be tricky to get them to place on. Do a couple more in here. Follow along. Yep, yeah, I have to make sure I drag. I try to just click it, it won't work. So you have to make sure you drag every time. And place on the note head. There we go. And let's do one more. We'll end really soft. There we go. Next up, let's change the tempo of our composition. So we'll go under the tempo drop down menu on the side. And we'll just like select the quarter note equals eighty beats. So again we want to drop that on the drag that and drop it on the note head. And then if we want to change the pace, you double click on it and you can delete the eighty and change it to a hundred. But for our composition right now, we're going to keep it at 80, so we can move it back to 80, 0, and if you wanted to change it between each line, you can do that as well. You can just drag again, put it on the note head, and you can change it to 100, but for our composition, we're just going to leave it as 80 going all the way through, so we don't need that there. We can just select it and hit the delete key to delete it. Now we're going to move on to showing you how to change the key signature. So you can select key signatures, and here's a bunch of key signatures. If you hover over the key signature, it will pop up, giving you a display of which key signature it is. So if you want to add one, you just drag and drop. And then if you didn't say if you didn't want that key signature, you're just going to select it and then hit the delete key to remove it. So let's close that, and let's move on to time signatures. The time signatures is located just below the key signatures. So if you want to change it to 3 4 time, then we just drag again and drop. But as you may have noticed, the kind of layout has changed, so we'd have to readjust that. And we don't want to do that right now, so we're going to go back to 4 4. So we're going to press Command Z to undo, or we're going to go up to Edit and click the Undo from there. Okay, so now, if you're going to try to play this back, you would hear both the flute and the piano part, even though the piano part's not showing. Because if you recall from earlier, what we did was we just hid the piano. We didn't actually remove it. So now let's go remove the piano part so we just have the flute. So we'll go up to Edit, Instruments, and we're going to select the piano, and we're going to click Remove, and then we're going to click OK. Now that we just got the one instrument, 
the little symbol on the side saying that's a flute has disappeared and now when we go to play it we'll just hear the flute. So now let's play back our composition. So we're going to select the first one, first measure, and then we're going to hover over the last measure, hold shift and click it, and then go to play. And that's the end of the tutorial on Muse Score 2. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.